John, uh, you have seen in your role the most intelligence that anybody has seen other than the president as the director of national intelligence. And I've been wanting to ask you this next question for a while. I want to ask you about UFOs, unidentified flying objects. Um, the, the Pentagon is going to come out with a report by June 1st. And in the $2.3 trillion omnibus appropriations legislation passed in January, it includes the Intelligence Authorization Act, money for the Pentagon to continue investigating UFOs. John, we're going to get this report June 1st. Can you tell us, have unidentified flying objects been seen? Well, sure. We, we have uh, lots of reports about what we call uh, unidentified aerial phenomenon. And this actually um, is a program that's been in place for a few years in terms of a task force that, that has been uh, there under the National Defense Authorization Act. But as you correctly point out, Maria, there's now a report that will be issued by the, by the Pentagon, uh, by the Secretary of Defense and the Director of National Intelligence. I actually wanted to get this information out and declassified before I left office. But we weren't able to get it down into an, uh, an unclassified format that we could talk about uh, quickly enough. But, but frankly, there are a lot more sightings than have been made public. Some of those have been declassified. When we talk about sightings, we're talking about objects that have been seen by Navy or Air Force pilots or have been picked up by satellite imagery that, um, uh, frankly, um, engage in actions that are difficult to explain, that um, movements that... Uh, that are hard to replicate, that we don't have the technology for, or traveling at speeds that you know, exceed the sound barrier without a, a sonic boom. So in short, um, things that we are observing that are difficult to explain. Um, and so uh, you know, there's actually quite a few of those, and I think that that information is being gathered and will, will be put out um, in a way that the American people can see. We always, when we, when we see these things, Maria, we always look for a, a, a plausible explanation. You know, weather can c cause disturbances, visual disturbances. Sometimes we wonder whether or not our adversaries have technologies um, that are a little bit further down the road than we thought or that we realized. But there are instances where we don't have good explanations for some of the things that we've seen. And, um, you know, when that information becomes declassified, I'll be able to talk a little bit more about that. <laughs> can you tell us where it was seen? Actually, all over the world. There have been sightings all over the world. And, and when we talk about sightings, the other thing I will tell you is um, it's not just a pilot or just uh, a satellite or some um, uh, intelligence collection. Usually we have multiple sensors that are picking up these things. And so, uh, you know, again, some of this are just their unexplained phenomenon. Um, and uh, there's actually quite a few more than have been made public. So uh, I think it'll be healthy for uh, as much of this information to get out there as possible um, so that the American people can see some wow. of the things that, uh, that we've been dealing with. Okay, well, that, well, that is pretty extraordinary. We so appreciate that, that you're talking to us about this. Can this year get any weirder? Pandemic, <laughs> shutdown, UFOs. John Radcliffe, it's great to see you. Thank you so much. You Have bet. a good Thanks, weekend. Maria. You too. All right.